Welcome to Nova Now. I'm your host, Jessica Dolly. Guided by the belief that creativity is a fundamental need of the human spirit, Creative Cauldron is dedicated to providing affordable and diverse experiences in the performing and visual arts to the Northern Virginia area. Here to tell us more about Creative Cauldron is Laura Connors Hall. Laura, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for inviting me. So let's start with uh, what is Creative Cauldron? Well, Creative Cauldron is a theater and edu educational arts organization. Mm -hmm. We've been in existence actually 15 years, but for wow. the past seven years, we've had a dedicated space in the city of Falls Church on Maple Avenue, 410 South Maple Avenue. Uh, and we have a little black box theater and also gallery that we use for our both all of our educational programs, our live professional theater, mm -hmm. concerts, and also our family-friendly learning theater productions. And you mentioned your programs. So you, can you give us kind of a general overview of what those are? Yeah, yeah. We have a, a wonderful professional theater series. We have some of the finest talent in the metropolitan area performing with us, um, professional actors, and we do about three to four adult professional productions each mm -hmm. year. Uh, and then we also have very family friendly. We've got a learning theater ensemble and we do productions uh, with young people in elementary, middle school, and those productions mm -hmm. are actually anchored by adults and professional actors. Oh, excellent. And uh, you have a five-year project, um, Bold New Works for Intimate Stages. Yes, So tell exactly. me about that. It's very exciting. Uh, we decided as we were programming that there really wasn't enough when you kind of take things down from the shelf and you're looking for things that you can license the royalties mm -hmm. for. When you have a space as intimate as ours, it's only 90 seats, and um, the audience is never more than, than 30 feet away from an actor, plus most of the time they're probably even one <laughs> foot away. It's that tiny. Uh, we, we just got disillusioned by what's out there, and, and we have so many incredibly talented people working for us that we decided to commission actually two people, Matt Connor and Stephen Gregory Smith, mm -hmm. to do original musicals for us every year. Wow. for the next five years. Uh, last year we did an adaptation of Henry James' The Turn of the Screw, which mm -hmm. was critically acclaimed and was a Helen Hayes Award, actually ha nominated for three Helen Hayes Awards, which is our local kind of Tonys here <laughs> in the area. Um, and then this past year we just did uh, Monsters of the Villa Diodati, mm -hmm. and it also is a Helen Hayes recommended show. It's gotten critical raise. These are just really exciting, exciting new work, so. Yeah. Tell us a little bit more about that recent project, The Monsters of the Villa Diodati. Monsters of the Villa Diodati uh, was a musical that's based on this iconic evening of literary history. In 1816, there was a gathering of some of the greatest arter, artists of the, uh, writers actually, of the uh, 19th century. Uh, Lord Byron, Percy Shelley, Mary Shelley, mm -hmm. John Polidori. Uh, and it was out of that evening it was dark and stormy and... Um, of course. Well, it was. Yes, exactly. Exactly. There had actually been a volcano that had erupted um, in Indonesia that made sort of no summer wow. appear. They called okay. it the, the year without a summer. But anyway, that evening they decided to entertain one another telling ghost stories. But then finally Lord Byron issued a challenge, who could tell the perfect tale of terror and out of that evening came Mary Shelley's, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, Frank, right. John Polidori's The Vampire, which oh. ultimately became Dracula, the mm -hmm. two of the most iconic Gothic tales. Wow. So uh, we decided to do a musical about that. <laughs> <laughs> and it's actually- it Sounds lighthearted. Yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful, fascinating piece. Excellent. Yeah. Um, and then Bold New Works for Young Audiences yes. is something that you mentioned, I think, for, um, yeah, for some of we, your Yeah, we actually people. decided to brand. We've been doing a lot of original work, mm -hmm. uh, mostly with our work with young people. Like mm -hmm. We've always uh, tried to adapt classics. We adapt them around the kids mm -hmm. that are involved in the, the workshop, so it's a very inclusive program. But we've decided to brand that as Bold New Works for Young Audiences mm -hmm. because they really are. They're very creative. Uh, productions that take classic tales but put a little spin on them <laughs> or, or find ways of making them uh, really interesting to young people. So, sure. And Excellent. we have a production coming up. Uh, the Dancing, Dancing Princesses. Princesses. Yes. So is that March. part of that? Yes, um, it is. It's one of the one So of the tell me works. about that a little bit. Well, it, um, it's a really, of course, if you know the Dancing Princess tale, um, mm -hmm. 
our tale actually kind of takes little pieces and inspirations from all the different kinds of adaptations. It's a very mm -hmm. slim story when you look at <laughs> what, what was set down originally and by the Brothers Grimm, um, but we have music that was written there again. Our, our mm -hmm. composer, Matt Connor, writes original music for the right. tale. And we sort of have the, the princesses actually when they go down to the underworld to do their dancing. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a little twist that we feel like the mother, their mother is the one that was calling them there. So it's a little bit of the Persephone oh, tale goodness, mixed in with right. dancing princesses. Yeah. That sounds interesting. And you mentioned um, it's a black box theater. So yes. quickly tell me a, a little bit about what makes that different for your productions. It's, it's very, a very intimate experience. Mm -hmm. You know, we can't hide. The actors can't <laughs> hide. There's no moat of right. the orchestra pit yeah. between the actors uh, and the audience. So you really, as an audience member, feel like you are a part of the creation, and you really are. Your every sigh and everything is, is picked up by the actors in a different way. You don't miss a thing. Right, and what we've found is, I think our audiences mm -hmm. really have come to appreciate that. Mm -hmm. it's, um, it's a really shared experience, and um, I think a little bit in our kind of distant digital age, uh -huh. uh, a, really a reason for going to, to live theater yeah. is when it's, when it's intimate. Sounds fantastic. I can't wait to go, actually. So, uh, so tell us, how can we find out more, get involved, if we want to get involved with Creative Cauldron? Absolutely. We have a website, mm -hmm. www.creativecauldron.org. So look us up there. You'll see all kinds of information about all of our programming. Okay. In addition to live theater, we also have a concert series. We have a, uh, programming all throughout the year. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. You're welcome. For more information about Creative Cauldron and their performances, visit creativecauldron.org. I'm Jessica Dolly. Thanks for watching Nova Now.